Ether. That's Core Ether. Formers. Like a gas-like smell. Now K Toomer's fighting for his life as the 420 pounder is trying to put, oh my gosh. Yeah, that is stout. Up to the top, Aaron Roberts. Aaron. Big problem, bomb. And that and is you it. I don't and believe you. it. Memphis Heritage Champion, Aaron Roberts. Aaron Roberts has just beat Kay Toomer and is now the new Memphis Heritage Champion. I am absolutely shocked and I can still smell whatever it was they put Kate Toomer out with. And fans, we have a new Memphis Heritage Champion. Aaron Roberts did what it took to win. He told us for weeks, you've got a problem. to make the world recognize we ain't playing yo off the top smashing folk hitting with the gun show everybody gon' flip and that's off the rip we are memphis wrestling now you know who you messing with five star that's the name maria's here to change the game m dub on my chest got me slamming all you lame you ain't know you messing with the real dealer from the super kicking body slamming show stealer started out in the m memphis tennessee Watching wrestling every Saturday on TV. It's only the beginning. Now it's time to play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Memphis Wrestling. I am Dustin Starr, alongside my broadcast tag team partner, Terrence Ward, and there is a new Memphis Heritage Champion in town. It is amazing, and it is concerning at the same time, because Aaron Roberts somehow pulled off the victory last week against Kate Toomer. The master of Fat Jitsu is no longer the black belt of Fat Jitsu, because he's been defeated once and for all by Aaron Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 420 pound Memphis Heritage Champion and a 420 pound problem in Aaron Roberts. And we're gonna see him with a special championship introduction here in just a bit. But first, a welcome to the Gun Show. Woo! And introducing next, his opponent, from Game City, Tennessee, The Gun Show. The Gun Show, kicking things off here on Memphis Wrestling, and we have a loaded program here for you today. The Gun Show's up first. We got tag team action coming up with main event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil versus Big John Dalton and Ray Collins. Kim Bosby is scheduled for an interview here today and tag team action in our main event. But right there, the two-time Memphis Heritage Champion, The Gun Show, he's got his eyes set on the Memphis Heritage Championship. I was fully seeing this happen and unfold that Aaron Roberts would take home the Memphis Heritage title. Bell rings and we are underway, The Gun Show. One-on-one -on -one competition against C.J. Money. C.J. Money's got an opportunity here to really make a name for himself. If he can somehow score a victory against the former Heritage Champion, the Gun Show, this would be a huge notch in the proverbial belt for C.J. Well, if C.J. Money can pick up a victory over the Gun Show, then I think a miracle has happened inside the Wrestle Center. But anybody could win on any given day. But the Gun Show looks as focused as ever. And I wonder what he thinks about Aaron Roberts literally stealing the Memphis Heritage Championship last week. That was absolutely stealing nuts. He did what it took to win that match. Oh my God. Ooh. Saying you messed up. Folks, also here today, the Octopus, TNA wrestling superstar. Gun show lining CJ Money up. The Octopus Jonathan Gresham is here today, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get with him in just a Good bit, God. but there's a gun show lariat. Down goes CJ Money. I'll tell you what, CJ Money, I think is broke at this point. Once again, the Wrestle Center is packed full of rabid Memphis wrestling maniacs. They say one more time and gun show. Good God. Locks, cocks, and Boom! 
and that is it. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay, brought to you by Kapow Comics. In Sherwood, Arkansas, 501-834-5769. Here is your winner, The Gun Show. Kapow Comics in Sherwood, Arkansas. Let's catch up with The Gun Show. Congratulations are in order, Gun Show, but I know you've got a lot more on your mind, especially after what transpired last week when we crowned a brand new Memphis Heritage Champion in the problem, Aaron Roberts. That's right. So we got a new champion, right? So if we got a new champion, I got new sights. My sights are on you, Aaron Roberts. Get ready for the gun show because you're staring down the. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second, gun show. Not so fast because behind you is the former Memphis Heritage Champion, the master of Fet Jitsu, the big man. It's K Toomer. And I know that K Toomer has something to say about what happened last week. Big man. You want your shot? Right now, I don't care. They did something to me and put me down. And I ain't living with that. So, yeah, you're going to get your shot. But it's after I finish my business. Aaron Roberts, just in case you drug me, knock me out, put me down. I told you it's so sight, but now I'm coming for blood. Show sure enough. Matter of fact, forget all that. Come out right now. now wait just a second, K Tumor. Aaron Roberts and Justin Case are not scheduled right now. But they do have a championship celebration later on in today's program. Celebration. When they have nothing to celebrate. That's my championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to get in that ring and gloat. Bit. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, championship so celebration so coming up. So We've heard so from the big man and the gun show. It could be explosive. Stay with us. A message from the Sonic Department of Research and Delicious Mint. Did you know your new favorite burger has hand-smashed patties made to order, hot and melty cheese, and a tangy sauce? How rude of me. Let me introduce you. The all-new Sonic Smasher. Live free, eat Sonic. You wanna live free? Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW All In. Join us on Sunday, August 25th. It's free to watch, plus you'll get a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's Memphis. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. The Sandman drinks Ghost River. Drink it with him on August 25th. Reserve your seat at MemphisWrestling.tv. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. Hey, yo, 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 Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Hey, man, look, what's going on, man? You know we go way back. We go way back. Now, listen, Cobra, I know you've been seeing what's been going on with these tag titles, man. These tag champions... They running from us, getting counted out on purpose. They getting disqualified on purpose. They doing whatever they can to keep us from getting these titles. I need your help, Cobra. Okay, look, I've already signed the match. I think it's the best way to go with it. It's a no disqualification. All that's in the in the in the, in the fine print now. Yes. If they get counted out, they lose the title. If they leave the ring, they lose it's the title. Home. So the only thing you guys got to do is get in there and take your business. You know what that is. That's the business, dog. <laughs> All right, we're going to take these titles. If you do what you're supposed to do, we're going to do what, our supposed, what we're done, supposed to do. I've already done that. Oh, hold on, end up. And we're going to end up being the tag champions, baby. Huh. 
Thank you, Joe. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Welcome back to ringside. Dustin Starr, Terrence Ward, and what a way to kick off the program here today with the Gun Show and K Tumor face to face. Looking forward to the championship celebration from the problem Aaron Roberts a little bit later. Looking forward, I don't think it's anything to celebrate. I mean, let's think about this here. We have these three larger than life athletes out here, two of them at ringside. I was waiting for Aaron Roberts and Justin Case to come to the ring and to cause all kinds of hell. Absolutely, last week we were in Pontotoc, Mississippi, benefiting St. Jude. And speaking of tag team action, it was absolutely out of control. Check it out. I can't stand them, and they're in our hometown. We're gonna handle business. The following contest is set for one fall and is a tag team match. Making their way to the ring, Ooh. it is the team of Main Event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil. Ooh, man. It just got loud in here, and I don't mean the crowd. That's not you. Not me. What are you talking about? Is that me? Get out of here. Tag team action stemming from Pontotoc, Mississippi. Up next. And introducing next, their opponents, it is the team of Big John Dalton and all the way, Ray Collins. Big John Dalton had a big week last week, becoming the second Rumble on the Trail winner, getting his name etched on the Ansley Cup for the second time, and he and his tag team partner, training mate and friend, all the way, Ray win. They had victory on their hands at Tonatoc, and here is a rematch. And I know what you're saying, Denzel Rollins was supposed to be in that match, but was not medically cleared to compete. Having some nagging injuries all the way, Ray steps up, and now we've got a rematch here on Memphis Wrestling. Well, I think it's important that folks remember that these, these are trained athletes here. Injuries happen sometimes. You don't even know you're injured, and I think, Dustin, from your time in the squared circle, you can probably attest to the fact that you don't know you're injured in some cases until you start feeling that pain. Bell rings and you, we are underway. And I was gonna say, sometimes you, you don't know that you can't compete until the medical people tell you that you can't. It's as simple as that. You know, Denzel Rollins definitely chomping at the bit to get back in there, but Big John Dalton, 300 pounds, and the look on main event Bradley's face says it all. What in the world am I going to do with this guy? I'm going to step on his toe. Well, I'll tell you, the last time those two Ooh. faced off in the ring, Big John Dalton was battered and bloody. Left with a nearly broken nose. He was bleeding from the mouth and nose. Big slam. Here comes all the way Ray, who has been absolutely Ooh. on fire as of late. Had an opportunity at the Internet Championship in Tim Bosby. There's a tag to Big Nasty Phil. Ray Collins making a, a mistake there, not, not pulling main event Bradley back to his corner, but instead uh, allowing Big Nasty Phil the opportunity to get the tag and get in the ring. Big shot, here comes all the way Ray. Big drop kick, fans not don't enough. you forget on today's program, TNA wrestling superstar and former Ring of Honor world champion, Jonathan Gresham is here. There was big news released this week. We're gonna talk all about it with him in later on in the program. Right now, all the way Ray is in control, but big shoulder tackle from Big Nasty Phil. I think it's important we talk about the last time Jonathan Gresham was in Memphis Wrestling is when he faced off defending his, re or his Ring of Honor title against Nick Aldis. That's right. 
NWA World Champion, formerly, previously now, SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis, the same guy, Jonathan Gresham. You can check that out in the archives, youtube.com slash at Memphis Wrestling. Meanwhile, it was two on one behind referee Ron Justice's back. Main Event Bradley in firm control here. And you know, I, I gotta give Main Event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil some credit. While the smell's not pleasurable, watching them compete in the ring as a tag team has been uh, quite refreshing, actually. Not a bad tag team at all. Oh, Look at it that. Lights. Nearly launched all the way, Ray, over the top rope and to the floor. There's a tag to Main Event Bradley. Very surprised they didn't go for a cover. Maybe they just want to punish all the way Ray a little more. Ooh! That's a nice little snap suplex. There's the cover. Near fall right there, ladies and gentlemen. Loaded program, as I've said. There's a tag to Big Nasty Phil. We have tag team action in our main event. The Righteous Path are here, and they will take on oh, Derek God. King and Ray Ray Sanders. Meanwhile, big DDT from Ray Collins. That could give him the separation he needs to make a tag. Both men reaching for the corners. Here we go, Big John Dalton gets the tag and he is a house of fire. Trying to go for that body slam, but denied by main event Bradley. Going for a Samoan drop perhaps, no. Oh, wow. Press slam onto his own partner. I don't think I've seen that from Big John Dalton before. Wasn't too bad. Going for the cutter. He's caught, took too much time. Big John Dalton, bam, bam, slam, and he hits it. And that is it. We've got a winner. Here are your winners, Big John Dalton, and all the way, Ray Collins. What a victory for Big John Dalton and all the way, Ray. Fans, don't go away, the internet champion. Tim Bosby is up next. Memphis Wrestling is on the road. Join us live. Next Saturday, August 24th, is the Tater Town Throwdown Part 2 in Gleason, Tennessee, benefiting the Gleason Beta Clubs. Next Sunday, August 25th, the Sandman is coming to Memphis Wrestling, presented by Ghost River Brewing. Meet the Sandman at our VIP experience. Then join us for AEW All In. It's free to watch at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Saturday, September 7th, Memphis Wrestling returns to the Dyer County Fair for generations of champions. Sunday, September 15th, Memphis Wrestling is live at the Wrestle Center, featuring the return of Jonathan Gresham. Saturday, September 20th, Memphis Wrestling returns to Inglemar School in New Albany, Mississippi, benefiting Inglemar Baseball. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. It feels like we've only just begun, but so much has happened. There is a championship celebration that is taking place later on in today's program, and the gun show and K Tumor, two of the baddest dudes inside the Wrestle Center, they have something to say about it, Terrence. I gotta say, it is gonna be crazy to see what transpires when that celebration happens today. But I gotta be honest, to see the growth of Aaron Roberts to finally become Memphis Heritage Champion, I'm pretty excited about that. By hook or by crook. And also, before the commercial break, we saw some highlights 
from Pontotoc, Mississippi, just a moment ago. We're still tallying up exactly how much money was raised. There's a couple of auctions that are still out there, but we can't wait for the check presentation here in just a matter of weeks. And fans, it sounds like we have a visitor, and it's the Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, the boss, Tim Bosby. One second, Terrence. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us at this time is the Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, the Boss, Tim Bosby. Boss, we weren't quite expecting you just yet, but welcome to Memphis Wrestling. Welcome to the Wrestle Center, and also congratulations on continuing to be the Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion. Thank you, but how are we, how are we doing tonight? All right. Well, last time you guys saw me, I went against all the way Ray Collins. I defended this championship, and we had a hell of a match. And it got me thinking, what if we kept that going? What if we started a Bosby Invitational? A open challenge to anybody in the back for this championship right here. There's a lot of talent back there. And I hear that today, Jonathan Gresham is here. That is true, the octopus is here. And there's other guys on the roster too. I've never been in the ring with the Mike Anthony, a K Toomer, and there's somebody been calling me out, Big John Dalton. Look, the field is wide open. So like a famous man once said, if you want some, come get some. Let's get this started. Ladies and gentlemen, the boss, Tim Bosby, is headed to the ring right now for the Bosby Open Invitational. He's defending the title, and it's coming up next. The following bout is scheduled for one fall. It is a Bosby Open Invitational match for the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship. Kidding me Introducing here. his challenger from Miami, Florida, Casanova, the walking red flag, Colton Cage. Colton Cage, what is he live streaming? He's on his phone here, <laughs> taking some it. selfie video. And there's nothing like posting a selfie video on social media where everybody in the building hates you. What? Not everybody in the building Show hates me Colton one. Cage. Right here. Okay, well, okay. Colton Cage has come a long way since his debut in Memphis Wrestling, and he's become a serious contender. One thing that has not come a long way is his attitude and the manner in which he does his business. Like, come on. He's confident, Dustin, confident. There is a fine line between cocky and confident, and I've used that my entire career, but that right there is what it's all about. The Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship being hoisted up by our senior official, David Knight. Well, at least he's not walking around like a rooster in the ring. Come on. Do what it takes to get over. Bell rings, and we are underway. Colton Cage versus that man. There's Colton on the right. On the left, the boss, Tim Bosby, wearing the Memphis Wrestling colors. This match is impromptu. It was an open Ooh. challenge based off of all the way Ray taking Tim Bosby to the limit. Bosby says there's a lot of people that are deserving, and he threw out Jonathan. Would you like to see Jonathan Gresham versus the Boz? Not, not necessarily, oh my, no. Get out of here. Everybody in the live chat right now would be going absolutely nuts. I can think of some better contenders. Let's be the honest. The Boz versus Big John Dalton. But hey, this open invitational might not last long. Colton Cage could pick up the victory That's here. Exactly right. But not doing a hip swivel in Tim Bosby's face, that's for sure. Yeah, as much as I think he should patent that, he should also kind of be aware that now I give Boz the credit where credit is due. Good oh, God. Nice kick from Casanova. He is a uh, former state champion in, in varsity wrestling. Oh, my God. Some air on that. High in the air, but here comes the Boz. Moves ah. him down with a back elbow. And another one. Here comes Tim Bosby. Here we go, reverse. Bosby into the corner. Colton Cage lines up. Uh-oh. Going for that Bosplex. Colton Cage holding on for dear life. Very smart ring presence on behalf of Colton oh, Cage. Nice. And using it to his advantage. Reversal there from Colton Cage. Sends the boss throat first into the buckle and then mows him down with a clothesline. Yeah, there's not much padding on those corners. It may seem like it from the camera angle. Here we go, cover, two. 
Almost crowned a new champion. Fans, I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. Jonathan Gresham is coming up in just a bit. Also, we'll hear from Mike Anthony and the Hollywood Click after what went down a couple of weeks back at a huge main event. The Righteous Path versus DK and Ray Ray. And don't forget the championship celebration that could be explosive. Meanwhile, in the ring, capacity crowd chanting for Bosby. Look at Colton Cage hanging on for dear life. Smart move here. I mean, Bosby knew he needed to get off his feet or get on his feet to get the advantage, and he's countered it. Colton Cage, counter of his own. Ripcord. Oh, he oh, just missed denied. it. Nice counter from Colton Cage. Hits what? a stunner of sorts. Colton oh, Cage God. with a super kick. Thrust kick to the face, scoops up the boss. Big this slam. Could be it. Here we New go. New champ. Woo wee. Almost crowned. Sit down, Dustin. A new champion as senior official. David Knight says it was two, and look at Colton Cage. He can't believe it. If anybody should be on their feet, it's me. Colton Cage obviously had that in the bag. David Knight should have counted a little faster. Colton, faster? Colton Cage on the top going for Cupid's arrow. Missile drop kick. Oh, my goodness. He hit it. This could be it. Last chance. Foot on the rope at the very last second. The Bosby, the Boz is still in it. I don't know. I don't know what Colton's going to have to do here. He may have to find some way to get the advantage. He's hit him with everything but the kitchen oh, wait, sink. Wait, 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 wait. Roll through. The Boz has the ankle. Ankle lock applied on Casanova Colton Cage. Will he tap? And he does. We've got a winner. Here is your winner by submission and still Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Tim Bosby. The Boz retains the title in a fantastic outing. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay real quick. Brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live right here next Saturday and next Sunday. Back to back, get those tickets at MemphisWrestling.tv, fans. Don't go anywhere. Jonathan Gresham is up next. A message from the Sonic Department of Research and Deliciousment. Did you know your new favorite burger has hand-smashed patties made to order, hot and melty cheese, and a tangy sauce? How rude of me. Let me introduce you. The all-new Sonic Smasher. Live free, eat Sonic. You wanna live free? Memphis Wrestling and the Pontotoc Run Club would like to thank you for helping support St. Jude. The Sandman drinks Ghost River. Drink it with him on August 25th. Reserve your seat at MemphisWrestling.tv. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and joining me at this time is a former Ring of Honor World Champion, current TNA Wrestling Superstar, ladies and gentlemen, the Octopus, Jonathan Gresham. Jonathan, welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Welcome back to the Wrestle Center. There was some breaking news earlier this week a press release went out that stated that Jonathan Gresham has joined the Memphis wrestling roster in a full-time capacity. And furthermore, you are gonna step up and be a coach and a mentor for the up and coming stars of tomorrow. Jonathan, that is absolutely huge. Tell us a little bit about it. 
First of all, I want to thank you all for always welcoming me. It's, it's awesome to be here. You guys look great. You guys look great. But, Dustin, look, I've had the pleasure and the privilege and the honor to be able to travel around the world. Wait a second, Jonathan. I'm the one you pay for. Somehow, some way, we already have a disturbance. And, oh, my goodness. We have not seen these folks in a long, long time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the best of the best Austin Lane, along with the first ever Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, Nikki Lane. Jonathan, it's the Lane Dynasty, but what the hell are you guys doing interrupting this? This was huge. What, interrupting? I wanted to come out here and see the new mentor as well. I'll be honest, hey, Jonathan Gresham is not one of, probably the best technical wrestlers in the history of professional wrestling. And I wanted to come out here to see for myself, because you might be the best technical, but you're not the best of the best. I'm the best of the best. I am rope to rope and pillar to post. The very best of the best inside that ring. And Memphis Wrestling advertising the best wrestler on the planet? Well, I had to show up. You're talking about me, right? I cannot believe what is going on right here, right now. Jonathan, I apologize for what's taking place. We haven't seen Austin and Nikki Lane in months and months and months. Dustin, Dustin, please don't apologize. You know what? I expected this to happen. I really did. I know you guys. Don't think I don't know you. Don't think I don't know you. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Hey, excuse you. Do not talk to the man back there like that ever again. Do you understand me? Wait just a second, Jonathan. I'm hearing something else. Oh my goodness. It's TNA Knockouts World Champion. It's the juggernaut, Jordan Grace is here. Jordan Grace is here in Memphis Wrestling. Now wait just a second. Hey, do you want to speak up a little bit loud? Get him out of here now. Get him out of here. This is between me and him. No, this is not between you two. Hold on a second, Jordan. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. Jonathan, you said you knew this was happening, right? It's okay. Look, I knew you guys were going to come out here. I've been here before, babe. I've seen these guys before, okay? So the deal is, I knew it was going to happen, so I wouldn't come here without a little backup. I got the juggernaut. So how about this, Dustin? If you're okay with it, I would like to issue a challenge to the best of the best, eh? Huh? What do you think? What do you guys think? Dustin, I think they want it. I think they want it. So let me get this straight. Jonathan Gresham and Jordan Grace versus the Lane Dynasty in a tag team match? I am as sure as I could be that King Cobra would definitely sign that match. We're up against it. Fans, don't you dare go away. The challenge has been issued. Mike Anthony, it appears that you have joined Hollywood Click. Do you have anything to say? Mike Anthony, the fans want to know, what are you doing with Hollywood Click? Just say what Jimmy told you to say.
24th, it's the Tater Town Throwdown in Gleason, Tennessee, benefiting Gleason Beta Clubs. Reserve your seat at MemphisWrestling.tv. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW All In. Join us on Sunday, August 25th. It's free to watch, plus you'll get a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's Memphis. Sunday, August 25th, The Sandman is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Presented by Ghost River Brewing. Tickets are available now at memphiswrestling.tv. Memphis Wrestling and the Pontotoc Run Club would like to thank you for helping support St. Jude. Can't make it to the shows but still want signed photos, posters, action figures and more? Shop the official Memphis Wrestling eBay store Don't forget my son to include everyone. Tuck you in, warm within. Keep you free from sin. And there's not a single sinner who dares stop absolution. The following contest is our main event of the day, scheduled for tag team action. We'll always drop that Introducing off. first, making their way to the ring, the Righteous Path. Sorry for the hesitation on that intro, but good lord. Reverend Ash Taylor in the center. On the right, right there is Brother Bruce, and in the mask is Morrow, who have done nothing but cause trouble and wreak havoc here at Memphis Wrestling, and you see, the Reverend has a new kendo stick because he broke the old one over St. Jude hero, Coach Pillar's back. Yeah, that was pretty detestable. Motivated by and introducing next, their opponents. It is the team of Derek, by God, greater than Great King, and Ray Ray Sanders. One of the hottest tag teams in all of Memphis Wrestling, the most popular tag team in all of Memphis Wrestling, arguably. DK and Ray Ray headed into the square circle for the main event tag team match, and fans after this do not go away. There is a championship celebration for Aaron Roberts, the new Memphis Heritage Champion. And also we heard from Kay Toomer and the Gun Show earlier, there is no telling what's going to happen before we leave this program. Referee Ron Justice gets everybody situated. Bell rings and we are underway. I wonder if there'll be uh, refreshments or uh, any kind of snacks for the celebration. Well, if it's Aaron Roberts and Justin Case, I would say they probably do. That's not a fat joke, I'm just saying. Here we go, collar and elbow tie up. DK versus brother Bruce in there right now. Shoulder tackle sends Derek King hard to the mat. DK and Ray Ray are trying to earn another opportunity at the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team titles. But right now, they're head up against the Righteous Path, who, like I said, have caused all sorts of trouble, including Pontotoc, Mississippi, as we saw earlier. Now off the top rope, Ray Ray Sanders trying to break the arm of Brother Bruce and Capacity Crowd absolutely on fire today especially after Jonathan Gresham and Jordan Grace issue a challenge for a tag team match against the Lane Dynasty. Fans, you know King Cobra will schedule that match. Stay tuned to see when it will happen. But here we go, Ray Ray Sanders with a cover. 
Near fall, two count from referee Ron Justice. Ray Ray Sanders doing a phenomenal job here against uh, brother Bruce, and I, I think I just ate my own words there. Taking him to their corner for that tag advantage, and we can't because forget, the reverend's still outside with that damn kendo stick. Yeah, brother Bruce getting in, very experienced. Look, I have never in my life seen anybody swing a kendo stick quite like the Reverend, especially breaking it over the back of Coach Pillar. Absolutely unbelievable. Here we go, there's the cover, Brother Bruce. Near fall, if Brother Bruce had hooked the leg and taken that pinfall seriously, we might have winners. Ray Ray Sanders is in big trouble. I think it's to point out also that's probably why Derrick King didn't come into the ring to break up the count is because he saw exactly what you pointed out. There's the tag. Wasn't taking it seriously, hooking the leg. DK loading up some jabs here on Morrow. Now for Brother Bruce, DK. So many lefts, there's a big right. Down goes Brother Bruce. Wait a minute. DK setting up for a super kick. Is it a party time? Super oh. kick! <laughs> Double super kick. Meanwhile, Ray Ray Sanders headed up to the top rope. Wait a second. Oh my God. Reverend Ash Taylor just threw Ray Ray Sanders off that top rope. A blatant Oh my goodness, Morrow just mows down Derrick King. Now pounding away at the face and head of Derrick. He's got that kendo stick again. I don't like the looks of this at I all. I do not either. Do you hear the maniacal laugh coming from the mask of Morrow? They have lost their minds. You gotta be kidding me. Russian leg sweep with the kendo stick. What's next? Oh no. Hold him. Now they're going to what? String Ray Ray up on the ropes. Oh my goodness. Good. Two God. big shots with the kendo stick. Enough is enough oh for my. God's sake. You got to be kidding me here. Somebody take the d stick from him. Oh wait a minute, Derek. Derek King with a steel chair. Derek King with a steel chair. Being the saving Get grace. out of here, Reverend. You lost your what, mind. What, have you lost your mind or something? In stereo, we're available. That's to find out what the hell is going on. Reverend Ash Taylor, that's enough. Have you lost your mind? Every time I pray for Memphis Wrestling, Mr. Star, I dream of, I dream of wars. I dream of liars. But I promise you, it's not the beasts under your bed that you must be afraid of. The righteous path has come to save Memphis wrestling. So all you have to do is take my hand. Reverend Ash Taylor absolutely has lost his mind. Kendo sticking Ray Ray Sanders and attacking Derrick King. Fans don't go away. The problem, Aaron Roberts, is up next. Get it's a pride damn shame. Memphis Wrestling is on the road. Join us live. Next Saturday, August 24th, is the Tatertown Throwdown Part 2 in Gleason, Tennessee, benefiting the Gleason Beta Clubs. Next Sunday, August 25th, The Sandman is coming to Memphis Wrestling, presented by Ghost River Brewing. Meet the Sandman at our VIP experience. Then join us for AEW All In. It's free to watch at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Saturday, September 7th, Memphis Wrestling returns to the Dyer County Fair for generations of champions. Sunday, September 15th, Memphis Wrestling is live at the Wrestle Center, featuring the return of Jonathan Gresham. Saturday, September 20th, Memphis Wrestling returns to Ingomar School in New Albany, Mississippi, benefiting Ingomar Baseball. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. And that and is you it. I don't believe it. Memphis Heritage Champion, Aaron Roberts. Aaron Roberts has just beat K Tumor and is now the new Memphis Heritage Champion.
Off the air footage here at ringside, Aaron Roberts has just become the first champion in Memphis wrestling history to have detained every title there is. The tag title, the internet title, the trios championship, and now the Memphis Heritage title. Aaron Roberts is the Grand Slam champion of Memphis wrestling. I can't believe it. I think it may be a problem for everyone else, but Aaron Roberts is the man. He is the face of Memphis wrestling today. Just in case, still feeling the effects of whatever that substance was in an aerosol can, Dustin Starr has taken his headset off. He is so he can't even he can't even put it into words as to what has just transpired. But folks, I'm sitting here at ringside and I'm seeing a man who did what it took to win. I'm sorry. That's Jared. what matters. Took the headset off for a second there. That's Aaron your champion. Robert. Hey Tumor. He needs some water or something. The big man was put out with ether. You can see and he, he's going to be mad as Mad hell. is not the word. He's going to be mad as when he gets up. Yeah, that's a bleep for, well, this is Memphis Wrestling members oh, only. Oh, we're still on? I'm yeah. sorry. We need to he's, make sure that locker room is cleared he's out. He's going to be off when he gets up. I can tell you that right now. Pouring water. Referee. Cold water on K Tumor's neck. Point. K Tumor doesn't even know what's happened, I imagine. Well, he's shaking. Dustin, I don't know if you can see this or not, but K Tumor, his body is shaking. We've got security, we got staff. Go. Dustin is going to go check on K Tumor. Now, while I said what I said a moment ago, definitely want to be cautious and respectful of the condition of K Tumor. Definitely don't want any long term issues with K Tumor and he is trying to get to his feet with the help of the security and staff and I gotta tell you that ether that'll stunt your growth. Yeah. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling and joining me at this time is the brand new Memphis Heritage Champion the 420 pound Accompanied to the ring by Justin Case, it's Aaron Roberts. And guys, I'm going to put it as nicely as I can. By hook or by crook, it seems that Justin Case and Aaron Roberts, that you stole the Memphis Heritage Championship last week. Show that guy a little more respect because he is the first ever Memphis Wrestling Grand Slam Champion. He took a loser to the tag team titles. He carried the whole family to the trios championship. He beat a Memphis fan favorite for the internet championship. And did he beat the roughest? the toughest and the biggest for the Heritage Championship? Show enough. So now, what's left for him to do? Nothing. Wait just a second. We saw him here earlier. He said it's on site. And here comes the big man, former Memphis Heritage Champion. K-Tuber is pacing like a wild animal, and here he comes, Aaron Roberts, K-Tuber, toe to toe, oh my gosh. The rematch they've been asking for, the rematch that K-Tuber wants is happening, but just look unofficially. Out. And you know just in case is there, uh oh. just in case, takes out the knee, it's two on one. Stomping away at K Tumor. Just in case, Aaron Roberts sending a message to K Tumor. The master of Fat Jitsu is a master no more. Wait just a second. Here comes the gun show. Evening the odds. Just in case hops out. Now the gun show working over Aaron Roberts. Oh, wait just a second. K Tumor says no, he's mine. 
Wait a minute. This could prove to be a problem. Face to face. You get two big Came dogs fighting over the same bone. He wants his rematch at the Memphis Heritage Championship, and the gun show said he's the next one in line. He don't care who it is. Well, to be fair, Kay Toomer was the most recent champion. If anybody deserves a rematch, and it being unpar impartial here, he deserves it. Both men oh. are very deserving of a championship opportunity, Ooh. and here we go. And here comes the zebra pack. We've got a fight. Know what the hell they think they're gonna do. Kay Toomer and the gun show. These two men squabbling over a title that neither one of them carry, and Aaron Roberts is here at the desk. The champion is here. Aaron Roberts has somehow gotten out of the ring. Meanwhile, the gun show and Kate Toomer hey, it's, are fighting each other. But look at Justin Case. You can see Justin Case holding Aaron back, and how smart is that? He's keeping Aaron Roberts at bay, letting those two destroy each other. Security is in the ring, but not quite sure if they want to get involved, and I don't blame them. Ring that bell. Fans, we're running low on time, and somehow the egg-sucking dog has escaped. You got security, you've got referees all in the ring now. You see Big Dan trying to restore some order in there. All hell broke loose. Meanwhile, Aaron Roberts and Justin Case are as comfortable as they can be. And that's exactly what Justin Case is saying here at the desk. I'm watching here we him. go again. Referee David Knight is waving out all sorts of help. Here comes the boss, Big John Dalton. Gosh, who are all these guys? We got everybody out here. Just in case, doing a very good job of keeping Aaron Roberts at bay. I've said that already, but the importance is paramount. Keeping his champion in top, tip-top shape means that whoever he faces, he faces at 100%. Kay Toomer and, B and uh, the gun show, they're going to be less than 100%. Fans, all hell has broken loose as we are running low on time. We've got a handful of guys, a dozen or so, on Kay Toomer. The other dozen on the gun show, but there's the stare down. Kay Toomer, Aaron Roberts, and the gun show. Oh my goodness, fans, we gotta go. We'll see you next week, right here on Memphis Wrestling. How many guys is it gonna take?